Hi, this is Susie Wilson of Gulf Coast WebNet, and today I'm going to show you how to install your Google Analytics, how to connect it with your website, how to use Yoast SEO to do that, and also how to install Bing and Yandex. So, without any ado, let's get started. So, to set up a Google Analytics account, first you need a Google or Gmail account. And once you do that, you can go to analytics.google.com and it will ask you for your login, just like you would for your mail. And then you are presented with a screen that looks something like, uh, like this. So this is the dashboard that they create for you just to start out with, although first we have to install it. I just happen to have um, many, so um, we're going to start with the one that I have here. What you're going to want to do is go to the admin section, and it seems counterintuitive, but under account, you select create new account. And we're going to set one up for a current account that I have. So this is named uh, Duke Levy. And I'm just going to call the... This website name isn't actually the URL, it's just the name that you want to see on your dashboard. Then under website URL, you pick whether it's an HTTPS or an HTTP. And You enter the URL. Select a category. There aren't a lot of categories, um, so just it's not very difficult, although sometimes you have a category and it just doesn't seem that they have anything really good for you, but just do your best. Um, the reporting time zone, we happen to be in central time. I always leave everything checked and then we click get tracking ID and we accept their terms and then you get this tracking code here so we're going to copy that tracking code and many websites have um, their themes have a place to store your Google Analytics code and my theme is no different. But if your theme doesn't, then there is a plugin I'll put at the end um, that's called Header and Footer, and it will, it will provide you a space to add your, your analytics code. Then we're going to save it. Go back to our dashboard. And now we're going to just flip back over to our main screen and you'll notice that there are three different columns. There's the account, a property, and then a view. And you can have many different uh, multiple properties, you can have multiple views. I, I'm not going to go into all of that or you're never going to get your um, your code installed. So, <laughs> so um, under the property we have property settings. Um, we're going to use the default view, and I'll show you that in a little bit. We've already selected that. Um, we, I like to just select everything that they'll let me. I like to enable demographics, use an enhanced link attribution, um, and I'm going to show you this in a minute. And then we save the page. Now, the interesting thing is we want also to connect this with our Google, oh, what's it called, console. I wish they would just combine these two things. But at this point, I have none, so I want to click Add. And this is where you will probably not have this many 
websites and uh, but you'll see uh, one that says add a site to search console so you click on that and it just tells me that I'm going to be redirected to a different site and in fact it does it opens a whole other window for me and I just click um, add a property and so it's going to be https dukelevy.com and I add now now I have to prove that I own this domain so you can just do it with your domain name provider um, I just I kind of like to use the alternative methods um, one is to use have it download an HTML file that then you upload into your WordPress um, dashboard or not dashboard but your WordPress cPanel or files you can also use um, your Google Analytics account I like to use an HTML tag and the reason being that it's just more simple to just copy that tag and put it in that same location that I had my analytics code but this time it goes in the head of my blog instead of the um, body so I'm going to save my changes and sometimes this can take um, a little bit of time sometimes it goes really quick sometimes I'm willing to wait and sometimes <laughs> I try another method so this time it was successful and so we're gonna go continue now the next thing we want to do is submit our sitemaps so I'm gonna click on sitemaps and then I'm going to go back over to my WordPress dashboard and I'm going to go to my Yoast SEO plugin and the first thing you need to know about the Yoast SEO plugin is we need to get the XML sitemaps but you'll notice you may or may not notice that it's not actually available quite yet so what we have to do is um, to come over to features the features tab and we need to enable advanced settings and then save that and there we go now our XML sitemaps is appearing so when you click on this button it will bring up a new window with your XML sitemap so Google is going to need just this part that says sitemap underscore index XML so I'm going to go back over to my Google dashboard and I'm going to add a sitemap and I'm going to do test normally I would just submit because I've done this many times um, and it looked like it was okay so we're going to just submit refresh the page and there it is it's pending so it takes a while for them to um, send out the bots and do all that kind of stuff <laughs> but my Duke Levy is now should be available in my console let's see if we, there he is right there Duke Levy so now I'm gonna go back now this seems counterintuitive to you see I've got two search console tabs open this is the one that I just used to set up my new account Duke Levy and now I'm gonna go over to this other search console and this is where I connect my Google Analytics with my Google console now it Duke Levy is not in this list yet but if I refresh my page <laughs> then he will magically appear 
and I can click on the button to connect it and save. And now when I go back to my analytics board, if I refresh, I'll see that I'm now connected. So we're going to go back out to the three columns. We have the three columns. And um, some of the other things you may want to do, um, if you go to View Settings, there are lots of things you can do here. Um, you can turn on site search tra tracking and use query parameters. I don't, I'm normally setting up um, accounts for clients, so I don't usually do much in the way of analytics other than setting up a dashboard for them. Um, but you feel free to explore all of these things. One thing that I often do is to create a filter which eliminates my IP address as the administrator from the analytics. So um, I can go to add filter and um, without, well, so we'll, we'll call it um, Duke maybe without admin and we're going to say exclude uh, traffic from an IP address and it's my IP address. So this is my IP address. Oh, not there. Oh, I'm back here. <laughs> okay, so. So that eliminates my IP address from the analytics. Now, the, the second thing that I do, so now we can go back to home and see the analytics for Duke Levy and, you know, it's not going to be anything because we just set the analytics up. But we can go to customization and what I do for clients is to set up a standard dashboard that I've created. So we can create a dashboard and you can pick a black blank canvas and do that or a starter dashboard, that's fine too. Um, what I normally do for clients so that everyone is consistent is I import it from the gallery. And you can go through and find multiple, you can have more than one dashboard and you can have all kinds of fancy dashboards. But uh, the one that I set up, um, is under Gulf Coast WebNet, all one word. I search for it, and then I just pick the first one that comes up. And um, I call it the name, and then create. Now the only problem with this particular dashboard is they changed some, one of the components and so I have to go and fix this one every time to page view. So these are the little pieces of that dashboard. And um, if you have multiple accounts, you'll, you can go up here to the corner and then just select I'll show you mine. Just select a dashboard. And then you can see what, what the dashboard tells you and what it looks like with some data in it. Gives you lots of good information. I particularly like seeing what pages are most popular. I'm always dismayed by the fact that Jigsaw Puzzles seems to be what my website is. 
Uh, attentive to anyway <laughs> and then if you want to mail this to someone what I do is I go up here to mail email and then I will put the clients um, email address I'm not going to put it right now um, I can select the frequency I want this sent I usually select weekly on Monday now this is going to be active for only six months and then you'll have to renew it or you can go to advanced options and select 12 months and that gives you a little bit of time uh, to to get things um, so you don't have to keep going in all the time um, another thing that I like to do is I've got this standard wording that I put into, um, oh, it's in here, that I put into every client's dashboard. And what that does, it, into the email, and what that does is it gives them a link to a location on my website where they can learn more about their dashboard. And, uh, I suppose I have to put somebody's name so let's start with mine <laughs> so I set the now I've set the email now if you want to get back and uh, what I normally do is I mark that in 12 more months I put in my reminders I need to refresh this email that's going to come out and the way I do that is I go to the admin section and over here in the bottom of the last view section is scheduled emails and this is where I can uh, refresh extend the date for that for that email you can also add different users at the account level at the property level and at the view level um, keep in mind that the person has to be on um, they have to have a Google account or they can't log in this is the reason that I email the PDF uh, dashboard to my clients um, rather than give them login credentials I always allow them to if they want but okay so now we have connected the Google Analytics with our website the next thing is to do um, to go to Bing Analytics so because we want to submit our analytics to as many search engines as we can so I've got bing.com uh, slash toolbox slash webmaster so here I sign in and uh, you can use your Google account, your Microsoft account. Used to be that you had to have a Microsoft account in order to, um, sorry I can't speak and type at the same time. <laughs> Used to have to have a Microsoft account to access Bing but I guess they've added some new things. Now Bing is actually in many ways simpler to install. So all I have to do here is type the URL of my website and click add and then it's going to ask for the sitemap and it wants um, Bing wants the full address so we'll just copy that in and soon <laughs> okay so then here um, we have the similar options that we had in Google Analytics we can download the an XML file that we can put on our um, computer or on the the server we can um, paste the meta the meta tag in the head of our 
or we can actually put this HTML. The other uh, obvious other options are you can add a CNAME record to your DNS. Um, I just do what is simplest for me. <laughs> so the simplest thing for me is just to put the tag in um, the website. And then we have to verify. Okay, so it's just it's pending like everything else. And uh, you can go to see all your sites here. You can see specifics about each one, um, whatever you'd like to do. So Yandex is the last one. Um, I go to webmaster.yandex. Uh, you have to start an account. It's free. And then HTTPS. Put the URL in. And then it gives me the meta tag. I can go into my dashboard, my website, add the meta tag, save it. Now Yandex might take a little longer because Yandex is actually, I believe, in Russia. So sometimes it can take a little longer for you to get the verification, but it looks like it worked. And um, so, you know, here I can just, so it's already taken place. There's Duke Levy. Information will be available soon, so. So that's, um, that's the Google Analytics and how to install it in a nutshell. There are lots of things that uh, you can learn um, about um, Google Analytics. Tons of information, way more than I can put into right now. But I hope this helped you install Google Analytics, Bing Analytics, and Yandex on your website. Thank you.